Hello, Lynn here from Early Riser Crafting. So this little ocean journal is finished. It started at the post office and it ended last night. I finally finished it off. So I just wanted to show you what I did with the front of it. Put something, it needed things on the front. It was too empty. So I put some shell ephemera there and I need some vitamin C. And I did a lot of cute little danglies, little beading. This was fun. I enjoyed that. Okay. Then you open it up. Oh wait, let me show you the back because I did add this. I felt it needed something, a little extra insurance for gluing down. So I glued that down with the E6000. And then it needed something here. It was a little too plain. So I put a, I cut out a banner type of tag. And then I added a Tim Holtz little metal see the world dangly. And then you open it. And I have very, very long ribbon here, but it can be cut if the person wants to cut it. So we open it up to the first page. And I did make a lot of extra stuff that I couldn't even use all the tags I made. But anyway, I added these. Adventure awaits. Blessed are the curious. I did this. Then on the back. And then I did a really, really large tag. Dance on the shore. And this is from the packet. It has the peach in it. And this is a stamp I bought. It mimics uh, wood. And then I add a little lighthouse there, Escape to the Sea. And that would be the inside front. Lots of writing space there. Here I put a lighthouse from a, a card. I think someone sent me a thank you card, very pretty. So I cut out the lighthouse. And this is a ribbon I picked up at Dollar Tree. It's really nice. And I just glued it on a piece of uh, green manila folder, cut it out with the scallop, did a little distressing. Then I added another one of the Tim Holtz metal ephemera, Be True to You. And then I added that, I need some vitamin C, I love that. Let me see if I did anything in the back here. I'm not sure if I did, oh yeah. Lots of writing space there. My journals, I do always try to add this a little tight. That's why I do it from the bottom. I made it a little too tight, but that's okay. Just have to put it back there. Then you turn the page and Feel the sand. And this is a vellum corner pocket. And I just left this plain to give the person some writing space. They can write on a diagonal. They could put a photo, anything they want to personalize it. And that's the tag I cut out. Stick that back in there. And this I did on one of my previous videos and then I recolored it in blue and then I added a lot of different rub on from Dollar Tree a lot of rub on stickers and this was from G Kerr a little snail one of her uh, her freebie for her hundredth video I mean her hundredth freebie yes yeah, she's been very generous with her freebies and her free art. Put that in there. Ribbons, brads, just changing it all up. 
and I turn it around. This is a Mod Podge. I used um, a napkin and then I glued the napkin down but over a piece of uh, paper from the scrapbooking pad and then I used my finishing scissors, the edgers, folded it over and then I, this matches that paper. And I just, you know, I just said, well, I should cut out around the design itself. You know, it has these shapes, the sort of like waves. So I did that. And then I did this in the back, which I'm very happy with. So lots of journaling space. Took care of that. Person could tape their own photo on top of this. I hope people are not afraid to interact with the journal, even if they didn't, even if they only purchase it, they could still do things with it. And this is a tag my sister sent me. She's very good at these modeled looking uh, effects, and she makes her own modeling paste and she just does whatever she wants and this is life is better at the shore and just little tags and this is from the tim holtz it's a die cut and it holds tags i cut it in half because it actually would go up this high but i just wanted it to hold like two tags Put a little ephemera there. I move this over. So I edit this as a tag. Tag I designed. And then person can stick whatever they want under here. They could tape a photo here. And then this page, oh my gosh, it's oh lot going on. So, this is a bingo card from a Tim Holtz scrap, scrapbooking pad. And all the bingo cards are very dirty. They, they all kind of look like this. But I wanted to jazz it up. So I did my tape effect. And I made this uh, blue. I used the uh, pistachio there. And the one of the yellow inks I have, taped that all out so it would be bright and colorful. And this is a library card that I designed with shells that I put there. And I just, I put aside, let me see if I could find it real quick. I put this aside just so, you know, I know I say the same thing sometimes, but again, it's a good reminder of why, you, for this I used inks, because if I use oxides, this is what happens when you use oxide, it sits on top. I wanted it to go through, I wanted to be able to read the bingo and those little letters there and the X in the middle, and then that's a darker oxide, and again, it sits on top and it totally hides everything. That's why you need oxides for certain techniques, and then you need your inks for other techniques. And then I, another little, that's a little, lots of little things going on. Lots of little things. That's a little fact about an octopus in there. And then there's journaling space. I tucked in a little shell. This is that whale that I used in my first ocean journal, and I used it again. Then I just tucked in one of these little pretty photos that I bought. It's a famous painting. Let me just tuck that back in. And then I just put the tape there. This is Dollar Tree. You know, I buy a lot from Dollar Tree. I use a lot of these for this project. <clears throat> so that was in here someplace. 
And now this side, I really love. I really love this page. I love the flip-flops. I like the little uh, <clears throat> painting here, the Japanese wave painting. Now, there's two different things down here. This is something that I saw on G. Kerr's video, and so I made one to go with this, to go with this journal. And there's all kind of tags, and they all move around, folds and it folds up. And then I added, because I always like to make a little memo pad, set sail in the direction of your dream, lots of writing, space. So I tucked that in there. And I made sure this ribbon was loose enough. Because, oh yeah, and I got all of these little things from here. Because you can separate, like I can separate that anchor from the square. And I didn't want these squares, I just wanted what was inside them. So that's how that goes. Then I just tuck it in here plenty of room. I just, this is my favorite page in this book. I just love it. Okay, seize the day. This is another little pad I made. Stickers from Dollar Tree and I stuck some cheesecloth in the background and then there's all these little pages. And then these are stickers from Dollar Tree, all these three stickers. Lots of writing space there. This side, I have a little teensy weensy little, it's not, it's not hidden, little paper clip. Life is a sea of vibrant color, jump in. And then I just, this is another one of those die cuts. This is not Tim Holtz, though, and it's bigger. And I just stenciled a Stamperia stencil that I have. And then I sort of, I just kind of like the way that heart looked, just like that. So I left it. Lots of little tags, lots of little different ways. It's a nice big eyelet. And that's a freebie tag from Artie Mays. Lots of, lots of stuff to look at in this journal. Now, I made a bigger one and I was really happy with the way it came out. So this is an ephemera cluster that I put on top. And then it opens like this, like the other one, but this one's bigger. So there's some big tags, lots of stuff to look at. Folds down like that. Then this is from the G. Kerr, her 100th PDF, freebie art. And she really, she really gave away a whole kit. But I like the snail because I love the facts about the snail, which I put in there. Not gonna read it to you, but it's very interesting. And this, see, this is a double. I make double pockets. And that's really, they're not hard to make. And then this, again, the stones, pebbles. And my friend sewed this. That's a tag in there with a little this is like a, a, a rubber band that doesn't pull out your hair, but they make great tags. They're great for tags. Then I just put a brad in there. It holds it so beautiful. I love it. And I buy these from Dollar Tree. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now this, I did another vellum pocket with the fish, and then I made this, which unclips, it's an elasticized, it's not that hard to open, <clears throat> quote, and then I have, 
tag there, tag there, lots of writing space, tag here, all kinds of things, the library card, lots of stuff, and a person can add their own stuff in it, of course, that's just what I chose to do, you just, you just, you take it, you double it. I just love this button. I don't know where I got it from. But it's so elegant. So you just pop it in there. I actually, I like to do it with the button out. I love the way that looks. <clears throat> Another um, paper clip. And this is, of course, for the person who purchase it, they could stick in extra cards, photos, receipts. You have to give people extra space. Here's another pocket. I made a little weeny envelope with a little weeny quote. Famous quote from Louisa May Alcott. Her book, Little Women, Write Your Story. Because of course in journaling, it's an encouragement to write about your life or your adventures. Now this, I made an envelope. And what I used, because I saw these stickers for glass in Dollar Tree. And I knew, I said, oh no, I can definitely use that for paper. Because if it sticks on glass, see that? The glass, glass stickers. And I saw that, and I said, oh, I'm definitely going to buy this. I'll be using this. I also bought this one, but I didn't end up using any of these for this journal. So I might be making one more ocean journal. I'm thinking about it. So that's, I used all the stickers. And then I did some index cards. Plenty of journaling space. Or a person can tuck in photos, receipts, anything they might want. Then I added this. That's a Tim Holtz metal, metal tag. And this goes in here. And that is the end. Now this was I spent much more time than I expected to on this journal. This is done with just removable tape because for whoever purchases this, I'm going to make them, you know, some kind of printed tag that either names the journal that they want to name it, put their name on it, my journal, whatever whatever to personalize it. So this is just to fill in the space, but that's what I expect to do with it. And now I just wanted to show you all the extra things I made for this journal and never used it. Here goes a tag, which I might as well save it for another journal. I made this one. I must have worked three hours on this crazy thing. That's a little envelope. Nothing comes out. This is all taped down and glued down. But this little guy comes out. Writing space. I really had no place to put that. Then I made this one. I did post it on Pinterest. This is actually real shells. And some quotes. And it's a tag. And it just came out perfect. I mean, I'm really happy with this, so I'll probably put it on the front of a journal if I make another ocean journal. And then this is a nice, big, chunky paper clip. I love it, but I couldn't, I just couldn't use it. I made too much stuff for this journal. But I did want to show you some of the extra things. But that does happen, so if you don't want to waste time with a journal, sort of plan out how many tags you're going to do. 
and then stick with it. Don't do what I do. I get carried away. I make so much extra stuff. And then I don't even use it all. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. And the next video, I'm going to be showing you my patriotic journal, which was really the longest, probably the most hours I ever spent on a journal. So that'll be my next video. And I hope you have a great day.